Pat, like it or not, uh, WNBA playoffs this week. Oh, I do find the format interesting because Tariq and I were just talking about this. It's one in. One in, one, one single elimination, one single elimination, then best of five semifinals, then of course finals. Yeah, I mean, look, I think things would be a lot more interesting if you did it this way in other professional sports as well. But, I mean, the talent in WNBA, and you can attest to this. It is, so dismisses the regular season, though. Best of one, like. There's no payoff. But that's about to happen in Major League Baseball as well. But it's a wild card kind of thing. But, I mean, it's how is it any different, right? Like, you have the Yankees spending how many hundreds of millions of dollars to potentially get one game against somebody or everyone's going to get fired. Look, I mean, it ups the pressure. And I do understand your idea, the the statement that it invalidates the regular season. But, I mean, if your team is good enough and if you're seasoned enough, you're going to win that one game. Plus, eight teams make the playoffs. There's 12 in the league, and it sort of resembles a little bit of college basketball. I mean, one and done, you, we kind of love it when it's March Madness. You know, we kind of talk a little bit about the, the WNBA because it wasn't that long ago that nobody paid any attention to it. And honest God, the, the, the biggest experts nationally are, are talking WNBA like they really know what they're saying, and they're really watching and paying attention to these games now, which I don't think five years ago they were. Well, I'll tell you what it is. It could be representation because, look, I was in middle school, I think, when the WNBA started. Women my age were in middle school when the WNBA started. I mean, look, you can... When I was a kid, when girls played soccer, that was their ticket out to go get scholarships and things like that. But when little girls turn on the television, and I can attest with this to this with my daughter and women's college hockey right now, especially the RIT program, she's a hockey player... It encourages more girls to go out and play basketball. Do you make a point to watch women's basketball because your daughter's watching you watch it? No, I just like sports in general. And look, I'll be honest with you. It's not like I have appointment listening for WNBA basketball. If it's on and there's nothing else going on with me, I know that sounds terrible, I'll pop it on. I will go out of my way to watch women's hockey with my daughter, even though I would watch it individually. But I'll I'll skip over games I would want to watch if there's women's college hockey on. Just because, yeah, I wanted to see, like... There is a route for you to go do this if you'd like to. And even if there's not, it's not professional hockey, these women are doing what they want to do. I I mean, Tariq, you have daughters. I I love it. And I love the fact that NBA players go to the games, sit at the games, are there supporting teams, people that they know, running camps with some of these players. So it's, it's been more of a collusion thing with players for WNBA and NBA working together. Seems to be a legitimate change.